Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Seth Ducharme. I'm the acting uh, U.S. Attorney here in the Eastern District of New York. Today, I'm joined with uh, Chief of, joined by Chief of Detectives uh, Rodney Harrison from the NYPD, and a spe uh, Assistant Special Agent in Charge uh, Daryl McCormick from the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives. And I'm also joined by the prosecutors here on our team in the Eastern District of, of New York. Um, we're here today to announce the fact that a grand jury uh, here in the Eastern District has returned an indictment. Uh, and, and we have alleged that two defendants, uh, Carl Jordan Jr. and Ronald Washington, are responsible for the murder of Jason uh, Mizell, who's a, known to, to many of us as uh, Jam Master J. From the, from the hip hop group Run DMC. You know, this is a case that's been around for a, a long time, as, as many of you know. Um, back uh, in 2002, on Octo October 30th, uh, we allege uh, that the defendants Jordan and Washington uh, walked into the music studio in Queens uh, where Mr. Mizell uh, and others uh, and they shot him in cold blood. Our office, along with our federal partners and the NYPD, started uh, working that case in the early 2000s, very soon after the murder. And there were a lot of challenges that we faced uh, right away. Uh, in fact, one of the first cases that I worked on when I was here as a prosecutor in 2008 uh, was this very case. And, and, and these gentlemen, uh, and our team were able to accomplish what I was frankly not then able to accomplish. And it's really through their hard work and the work of the uh, Queens uh, Cold Case Detective Squad, uh, the FBI who was with us at the outset, and the ATF who has joined us along the way, really, really never gave up on this case. Um, it was important to us then and it remains extremely important to us now to bring uh, justice for the victim and his family uh, and his friends and the community that cared so much about about those events. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to talk uh, uh, in detail about the case or, or the investigation. We have public charges filed and a detention letter that will be uh, before the court and that will contain uh, some more information. Um, I think it's important that you know we recognize that this is just the first step in a process that charges uh, in an indictment, as you know, are allegations that every defendant uh, has a right to hold the government to its burden of proving guilt beyond a reasonable doubt uh, in a courtroom. And that's, that's what we intend to do with respect to these defendants. I also think it's important uh, in this time for us to recognize that there are certain crimes uh, for which uh, the passage of time affords uh, no safe harbor. Uh, and murder uh, is one of them. We've charged this case uh, with respect to Mr. Jordan uh, as a uh, drug-related uh, homicide and the use of a firearm in connection with that offense. Uh, and the same charges apply to Mr. Washington. Also with respect to Mr. Jordan, we've charged uh, a conspiracy uh, narcotics distribution count and seven substantive distribution counts. Um, but uh, primarily, this is a case about a, a case about a murder that, for nearly two decades, um, had gone unanswered. And so today, uh, we begin to answer that question of who killed Jason Mizell uh, uh, and why. And we are confident that we can prove those charges uh, beyond a reasonable doubt. So uh, with that, I'm going to turn the podium over to Chief of uh, Detective uh, Harrison. I'm sorry, I, I did detect there was some background noise there at the outset. I, I don't know, was everybody able to hear my earlier remarks? Sure, sure, I can, I can repeat those. I'm happy to do that. So, a grand jury returned an indictment uh, here in the Eastern District of New York charging uh, two defendants, Carl Jordan Jr. and Ronald Washington, for their involvement in the murder of Jason Mizell, uh, who I think you all know 
uh, was known as uh, Jam Master J and, and part of the group Run DMC. And what we've alleged in that indictment is that on October 30th, 2002, nearly 20 years ago, Mr. Jordan and Mr. Washington uh, walked into a music studio uh, in Queens where uh, Mr. Mizell and others uh, were working, essentially, uh, and hanging out. And they walked in and they murdered him in cold blood. And uh, we started investigating that case a very long time ago, in the, in the early 2000s, but there were a lot of challenges associated with, with bringing that case. Um, and, you know, it's really thanks to the hard work of the uh, Queens Cold Case Squad and the FBI at times and the ATF uh, and these prosecutors um, that, you know, we collectively in law enforcement, you know, never gave up on the case and are uh, very pleased that we were able to, to finally bring those charges. Um, and I, I think I reminded folks, if you couldn't hear me, that this is really just a first step. It is uh, way too soon for self-congratulations here, but because the victim's family uh, has waited so long for some uh, some answer, so, some uh, some justice uh, for Mr. Mizell. Uh, we felt it was worthy of, a, of addressing you and, and, and informing the public, and just more broadly that uh, you know, f for the crime of murder, the passage of time o offers you no escape. The office has a long, proud tradition of doing cold case murders and working with our local partners and federal partners. Uh, we don't give up on these cases. Uh, and these prosecutors and, and, and their investigators really did a, did a fantastic job. We, we couldn't do it in 2002, couldn't do it in 2005, we didn't do it in 2008, but today, today we bring in the path to justice. So hopefully you could hear that. Um, and, and now I'll, I'll turn it back uh, over to Chief of Detectives Rodney Harrison and then Assistant Special Agent in Charge uh, Daryl McCormick who will follow him. Thank you very much. Chief. So good afternoon everybody. Thank you for being here today. Um, this is another case of New York City detectives showing that they're the greatest detectives in the world. An incident that happened in 2002 being solved 18 years later. The, relent the relentless pursuit to bring this case to justice is absolutely incredible. And it's due to the partnerships that we have, the partnerships that we have with Eastern District prosecutors. I want to thank you for your work. Um, our relationships with ATF, thank you very much. Uh, was able to bring justice to a, a, a case that seemed to be going in the wrong direction, but we were able to get indictments on. Um, I have to take advantage of this opportunity to give a shout out to um, our cold case squad under Sergeant Dennis Klein, our Queen South homicide investigators, uh, our detective investigators from the uh, 103 squad as well as the 105 squad that really initiated um, a positive debriefing that resulted in revisiting uh, this case. Uh, so a lot of work was done by a lot of different men and women uh, involved. Um, me being a native of Queens uh, and being a big fan of Run DMC and Jam Master J, uh, making this arrest was very, very important to me. So once again, I want to thank everybody for coming out, but I also want to thank our, our partners in regards to solving this case. Thank you. Good afternoon, my name is Daryl McCormick. I'm the Assistant Special Agent in Charge of the ATF here in New York City. ATF joined this case in 2016, and since then we've worked diligently with our partners at NYPD and the U.S. Attorney's Office to solve the senseless murder of Jason Mizell, known as Jam Master J. NYPD detectives and ATF special agents employed a wide variety of investigative techniques to uncover the evidence that led us where we are here today to announce these arrests and these indictments. The investigation demonstrates the collaborative commitment that we bring to bring to justice those involved in violent gun crime in New York City and across the country. To the family and friends of uh, Mr. Mizell, who have endured a heavy burden of grief over these many years, we hope that uh, today's arrests and indictments and this announcement will bring some measure of peace, knowing that those responsible will be held accountable. I want to also thank the United States Attorney's Office and the NYPD for the excellent collaborative work and the enormous effort put in by all those investigators and prosecutors in this case. Thank you very much.
Thanks. I just wanted to add that Mr. Uh, Jordan will be arraigned by a video teleconference this afternoon. Mr. Washington will be arraigned uh, at a later date to be determined by the court. Thank you for your attention.